The only way to be happy is to make others unhappy. Life is all about consuming others' energy for your own good, because that literally is the only way to be happy. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. You may have already seen my other video on Gotis. He makes his claim to fame by reacting to people's content, talking about how bad their diets are and how awful their lives are compared to his own. It's really sad. Uh, so many insecurities. You have to be really messed up mentally, really be down to go to these lengths to destroy your body. It's very severe destruction. And to be honest, when I made that video, I thought I was just talking about someone doing their thing on social media. I didn't think it really went much deeper than that. I mean, we see a lot of carnivore advocates that do something very similar. And at the end of that video, I actually talked on how Godus had stabbed someone in high school, left his family, child, and wife to travel the world and do other horrible things, but I wasn't very clear on it because I just didn't even know the lore behind Godus. So when I was reviewing the comments on that video, I realized that there is a lot more to the Godus iceberg than I actually thought. And screw me, I thought he was just a weirdo eating meat online talking about how other people are less than him it turns out he's a literal psychopath he tortures people he's an advocate for killing people including his own son and he's a very pro carnivore but not just animals pro cannibalism the illuminati are happy people eating <clears throat> and eating children and babies when i was really starved and then i started eating again i wanted flesh so much that i actually wanted human flesh and there's a reason for this i was uh, quite mad at these doctors there because they were giving me this carbohydrate shit and uh, there's a lot of stuff going wrong there and that's why i actually wanted to just bite one of them and eat them if you eat a babies or a young human's heart of course it's going to reach generate rapidly and of course it's the best food for the human and uh... Godus thrives off of physical abuse and self-empowerment everything from beating women with nightsticks to potentially pouring acid on their bodies today we're going to discuss the story that I was far too naive to realize when I first made a video about Godus I must say with this one viewer discretion is advised because it gets really graphic Diane was Godus's wife, who now lives in terror because of Godus and his followers. See, they threatened to kill her and her son and his son. Godus and his posse were stalking around her house, which was actually caught on CCTV. Diane felt extremely insecure that one day she would get abused or possibly worse. The clip I just showed you happened in 2022 in May. She went out to grab her garbage, or rather bring it out to the street because she thought her neighbor was doing the same and thought, oh, it's it's garbage day. When suddenly she started to get beaten with a metal nightstick. She got smacked in the head with a metal nightstick nine times, afterwards being pinned up against a fence that was her own and choked with that same nightstick. Then they broke a glass full of acid over her and onto her face. She was screaming for help as she was quite literally burning alive and she managed to get away pulling the nightstick away from the person who was hitting her with it only to then be sprayed with more acid as she was running away while the pursuers were laughing later in the hospital when she finally got to safety she actually almost had to have her arm removed due to damage caused by all of the acid spilt on her and at that time the hospital in her location was very small and wasn't equipped to deal with specifically acid burns i mean i don't think many people 
people are equipped to deal with acid burns. Diane's face was so disfigured that she was actually concerned her son would no longer recognize her when she met him again after being treated in the hospital. And this is only one of the many, many horrible events that Goat has created. And I have to warn you, this will get very, very graphic. Gotis, many years ago, started posting on YouTube about his carnivore experiments, obsessed with eating raw meats and organs and doing very weird lifestyle habits. He looked fit and muscular, which would lend him credibility in the space. And this is actually how he first met Diane. See, he had these in-person events that he would host from his YouTube audience, where everyone would get together and commune, talking about carnivore lifestyle and other things. And Diane decided to go to one of these events as she found Gotis really appealing. Soon after, they began to date and hang more closely together. However, Gotis had to leave his ex-girlfriend for Diane, but this presented an immediate problem. Gotis was getting paid by his ex-girlfriend's family every single month to take care of himself and her. And now, with her gone, having broken up with her for Diane, those funds have completely dried up. So YouTube was the next logical conclusion. He started to ask for money live on his YouTube. And what's interesting here is he was very anti-establishment, and his ex girlfriend's parents were very pro-establishment. They were multi-millionaires, according to him, and he was living off of their income. So it's interesting to see someone who is such an advocate against certain things that are establishment, but also living off of the salary of someone who works in the establishment. And obviously, the least establishment thing he could do was start to pander for money on YouTube live streams. Of course, the brainwash slop audience from Godis's channel started to give him all the money he could ever want, and continued to consume his highly low-effort content. This gave him leverage to start going to protests and speaking openly about his carnivore diet and how it's the right diet for everyone. During these events, which were usually based around veganism in some sense, he would bring dead pig heads and eat them as he was standing there. And these weren't cooked, these were raw pig heads. All the while, Diane sat very close to him, and almost every video that he's doing something like this, she's there with him. As Gotis started to garner more attention through what he did on a day-to-day -day basis, his antics of interrupting vegan events and eating wild raw animals out in the public, he created the illusion of self-legitimacy, thinking that he was somehow a thought leader and therefore had some sort of pedestal to stand on compared to other people. And that started his path into saying categorically insane things. He said things from saying that avoiding pregnancy when you have your first menstruation is why you don't have an hourglass figure and females, if they want to have that hourglass figure, should have a child as soon as their first menstruation happens. See a lot of videos for women on YouTube on how to get a so-called hourglass body. They will tell you to work out, do plastic surgery, go on unnatural diets, and so on. All of this is bullshit. There's one solution to all of your problems. Pregnancy. The reason you look the way you look is because you did not get pregnant right after you started menstruating. Not doing that is exactly the same as not eating meat and fat when you are hungry, and you will be naturally punished for it. You are punished with your looks. Just to keep in mind, I wish I was editorializing this claim, but the average female, at least in America, has her first menstruation around 14 years old. So he's implying that at 14 years of age, you should become pregnant to have a better body when you're older, as it's the natural thing to do, and it's a punishment, naturally, not to get pregnant. He also goes on to say that incest isn't a bad thing, and in fact, you don't develop diseases or genetic abnormalities if you practice incest. In fact, the lies that have been spewed about incest were just purely media control and aren't actually founded in science. But when it comes to incest, nobody wants to even think about it. <laughs> and if you switch off what you have learned for a second, you may come to the same conclusion about sex. We get told about these genetic disorders and birth defects. There's a lot of claims, but no proof. Correct me if I'm wrong. Wouldn't these problems logically come from blood that is further away from you. 
Of course, he states that there is no direct proof of sexual abnormalities from these relationships. He's gone as far as commending a Bosnian who killed his own wife from taking her child, which I was in Bosnia while this happened. It was a Bosnian bodybuilder. The wife got concerned because he was physically abusive, took the child and ran, and that person just followed her and shot her on a live stream. It was horrific. But he said he was actually proud of the Bosnian because he was a real man. Yesterday I saw the news about this guy called Nerman Suleimanovic, a Bosnian bodybuilder who was clearly on steroids who killed his ex-wife. I have incredible respect for this guy. The guy himself said it. She kidnapped his child for one week. He would go as far as eating dead squirrels in London at vegan events just to make some form of a point. I mean, talk about red flags. So many red flags. I feel truly awful for anyone that was involved with Godis or thought that this was normal, sane behavior. With all of the insane things that he claimed and said, it's very obvious that ignorance would only lead you to be close to this man and therefore the selection of people that were near him were probably the most ignorant. But Godis was an amazing manipulator, especially to his audience. He would often say these things and people would just express that, oh, it's just Godis, he's just a goofball, and knock it off as if it's not a big deal. Yet this would be the same man that kicked his girlfriend Diane in the face in the forest due to a miscommunication because he thought she had said something that was demasculinizing him. He kicked her so hard that she got a concussion, broke several bones, and teeth in her face and had to go to the hospital. Then later on a video via live on YouTube, he had claimed that it was immigrants in the forest that had beat her up. He was completely fine, of course, but she had a black eye on that video, was very quiet and didn't want to say anything. But Godist insisted that these immigrants beat her up so bad that they need money to go get surgery, which the surgery wasn't nearly the price of money that he made from that YouTube video. I'll get right to the point. My girlfriend Luna, she she was mugged yesterday in the f***ing shit city. I wouldn't even make a video about it, but her teeth are all chipped in at the top and the bottom because of the kick in the face. We tried all kinds of raw food for healing, even raw eggs. They're pretty much liquid, but she can't eat them because it hurts so f***ing much. So now we gotta get a straw and somehow try to feed her some nutrition so she heals in some way. It's just all f***ing. Up. Everything here is swollen. The nose is swollen. She already had problems with the nose. She had surgeries. So we don't know what's going to happen with that now. What did the doctor say at the hospital? Well, that I might have to stay 48 hours uh, because there could be an internal bleeding. Because you could die. Yeah, basically. And you couldn't even remember your phone, phone number. number and age. Yeah. Which is also up. We definitely gotta go to a dentist now because she can't eat anything. And uh, you know how expensive dentists are in Europe? And uh, with the nose also, I appreciate all the support I get on Patreon, but that money pretty much pays for my food. That's about it. We both don't have a decent income for to pay for any of this. So if anybody could support us in any way, even 5 to $10 on my PayPal, for example, that would really help us. Help us. He even contracted a muscle-eating bacteria from eating raw meat. It literally started to shut down his own body and organ systems, and he thought that it was just normal. For whatever reason, I got this bacteria called Campylobacterium enteritis something. <laughs> I'll write it in the description. And uh, what I actually got was one of the rarest cases where uh, rare, more rare than others. People usually don't get this, is that my muscles started, uh, stopped working. And as a response, he again asked for money from his audience to help support him. Keep in mind, he's done this all himself. I mean, the whole flesh-eating bacteria thing is because he ate raw meat. And specifically, he ate one-year-old jarred raw organs. I get so fucking yucked out by this video, it's disgusting. This is actually called something high meat, which people claim is healthy and it can get you high and transcend the reality of normal humans because it's so good for you. Remember that time I just talked about where Godus was eating raw squirrels in public at a vegan event? Well, around that same time, Diane actually found out she was pregnant. But unfortunately, after that event, Godus had went to jail for public indecency. In jail, a lot of his past came to fruition, and he was actually placed into a psych ward for a short amount of time because of what he had done. But he was soon released. But when the child was born shortly after his release, he refused to sign the birth certificate, and his 
he was afraid the government would use it against him. Then after this, he held a large event at an Airbnb. It sounds like he wanted a bunch of people to get together and have fun in the woods and live freely from society for quite some time. And he would split the cost with everyone for the Airbnb. During this event, he was chronically yelling at Diane, which many people who were there reported happening, as well as suddenly threatening them all with knives when they tried to help Diane get away from the situation. And it got so bad that everyone had locked him into a room, and when he had finally gotten out, he started chasing everyone with the knife again. To be fair, Diane was flirting with someone and admittedly said that she was interested in that person. But Gotis took it a whole nother step and kicked her and her son, which is also his son, out of the house into the cold night. As you can imagine, that event completely went to shambles and everyone left. Once they got home, after they had reconciled following that time, he forcefully shaved Diane's head as a form of punishment. And it was at this point that she finally left him for good with her son as well. Now this happened in 2021, in which he announced that he had broken up with her and mentioned that she was simply crazy and very abusive to him. And in fact, he said that she abused the child, sexually molesting the child and doing other awful things to the child. The main reason I'm doing this video is because my son still lives with her. And uh, when I left her, I reported her to the child protective services because Luna has been abusing the baby for well since birth basically and besides everything that she did to me for over two years all the abuse i don't know how to fight it so i thought maybe i can somehow ask you guys to help me with it her real name is uh, not luna of course her real name is diana during this video he says that his audience is basically needing to weaponize themselves and he provides her real address her family's address her number her real name and everything about her the child protective services in the netherlands are called uh, safe home so if you look up safe home online and you write them an email and report her with her real name which I will type in the chat now. As well as releasing her nudes and other explicit videos. That was in a private Telegram group. But then he also started a YouTube channel where he published public videos of her being very explicit. In May of 2021, he got remarried to a woman named Catherine from Canada. And she dropped out of school to be with him. But it seemed as if this was sort of her plan and her attention. As she wanted to hurt him as much as she could. So she went along with his plan. Now, I'll be honest, this part of the story sounds a bit iffy to me, and it seems like she was actually just really into what Gotis was doing and as well into his crimes, because she would promote him doing a lot of crimes. Obviously, we don't know what's really happening. Catherine did come to the police after being married to Gotis and report everything. I mean, horrible things. I mean, truly uncomfortable things for me to talk about to do to any human. Once Catherine revealed everything, Gotis got extremely upset. He stole her passport and all of her identification cards, payment cards, and she had to go to the Canadian embassy in the country that they were in to get back home. And thankfully, she was able to get back to Canada to seek asylum, but Gotis didn't stop there. You see, he opened up another Telegram group showing this in his YouTube lives, telling people to go in there, in which he has videos and pictures of Catherine exposing herself once again and doxing her public information such as her address, her family's addresses, her number, her full name, and the like. He then met another woman, Mary Marina Abdullah, who was also an online carnivore advocate. Which, can I just stop and say, how the hell is this guy getting so many women and doing it so successfully? It is perplexing to me because they're ignoring massive, massive red flags. I mean, seriously, if you're about to meet up with any anyone from Tinder or anywhere, just Google their name. Like a lot of this stuff just comes up by Googling someone's name. It works. First, last name, Google that bad boy. You will see shit that you never thought you would see about people. Gotta do that first. Okay. Like big red flags, big, big red flags here. Not so surprisingly, within a very short order of time, they had a baby daughter together. Now I have no information about that daughter specifically because she seems to be deleted from history, but apparently she's out there somewhere as he did announce that she was pregnant. 
Then there were two people later in 2023. This was after the acid attack. They threw Molotov cocktails, which if you don't know, those are little bottles of alcohol with cloths outside of them and you wipe the fire and you throw them at things and then they explode into more fire. They threw Molotov cocktails at Diane's house, in specific into her son's bedroom. Now the first Molotov cocktail they threw didn't go off, it failed to burn. However, when the cops came, they said there was nothing they could do as they had no evidence to who might have done it. They told her just to be on the lookout for something. And suddenly, another Molotov cocktail came a few hours later, this one successfully breaching the window and igniting the house, to which it set on fire. Now, thankfully, her son was not home, nor was she, so no one got hurt, but the house set ablaze. There was key witnesses at that event, and they did report to people throwing Molotov cocktails into her house. These people were later to be found as a 33-year-old man and his 15-year-old daughter, which happened to be the ex-husband of Mary Abdullah and her daughter that she had with her ex-husband. The same two people were also involved with the nightstick beating and the acid burning earlier in the year. Mary's ex-husband went to prison in which he still stays as he reported he was forced to do these things for undisclosed reasons, and the daughter got off with a minor penalty. Now, Mary and Gotis are wanted by the government and the law, but they cannot be found. Gotis has a notorious history with moving from country to country around Europe. However, this isn't the most recent issue. In fact, Gotis has done much worse things earlier on that are now being discovered as people sift through his content. Remember in my last video I talked about how he stabbed someone in high school? Well, I was actually wrong. He stabbed four people in 2006 bringing a knife to school. The news at that time kept him anonymous in fear that he might get ridiculed for the rest of his life. So they decided that it would be a better choice just to not reveal his name and let him face the consequences later on. Around that same time in 2006, Gotis sexually molested molested a woman touching her private parts in bed while she was asleep, which he even admitted to on his own YouTube channel after the fact, claiming he and her were both drunk at the event. I remember uh, when I was 16, I uh, tried to touch uh, a girl's uh, genitals, her breasts, her face and her whole body when she was asleep and and believe it or not, in 2007, Gotis started to play RuneScape, streaming it on video services, much like YouTube, before YouTube existed, and then he would transition onto YouTube, which was actually his first claim to fame. He got over 12 million views on YouTube with that channel, just playing RuneScape. But this was where things started to get significant, because his followers started talking about experiments they were running that had interested him. You see, at the time, he was actually a vegan, a long-term vegan, and they started talking about this whole raw meat thing in being a carnivore, which started with sun gazing, which is a practice essentially where you stare at the sun to get your nourishment. And this isn't just like a 10 minute stare, this is like hours of staring at the sun, thinking that you can fulfill all of your bodily needs just by exposing your face to the sun and specifically looking directly at the sun. Like looking, I'm not even kidding, this isn't made up, this is looking directly at the sun, because the sunshine somehow gives you calories, in which he almost died because he didn't eat for well over a month and thought that this was going to nourish him as he needed to. But this horrible experience obviously led him into the ICU, which in the ICU, he was starving, he had to be on fluids, and they were trying to feed him food, except he was still so adverse to the food and still so hungry that he was asking the nurses if they would let him eat them. And it was at this point where he started believing eating people may actually be a good thing, especially when compared to eating things like potatoes or other carbohydrates. And this, is crazy enough, is eventually what translated into him starting the carnivore diet and specifically eating raw meats and organ meats was his infatuation with eating human beings. And due to all of this, when he got out of the hospital, the German government started to fund him with social security funds because they didn't believe he would be able to find employment with his current psychiatric state. This was also the time that he started dating his first girlfriend, who had the rich parents who were also paying him per month to take care of that girlfriend. And at that point in time was exactly where the GOTIS that we know as of YouTube's timeline starts. We had money to buy cameras to facilitate getting organ meats and to facilitate recording content. And from there, you obviously know the rest of the story. GOTIS is a 
horrible person. I, I thought it was just simply a crazy carnivore advocate online. And when I digged in deeper, I found so much disturbing information, some of which I cannot even reveal here on YouTube because of how disturbing it is. What do you think about Godus? Is this a crazy man? Is he a psychopath? I mean, I would certainly say so. But put your thoughts down in the comments below and give ourselves to Diane. She actually has a GoFundMe. I should be able to put that in the link of the description or in a comment down below. And again, tell me your thoughts. What do we do about someone like this on YouTube and YouTube doesn't do anything about them? I, I don't know. It's kind of crazy. I'll catch you in the next video.